pre-warm-up series. We're going to go the shoulder today. Uh, I'm going to do two videos on the shoulder. The first video, I'm going to talk about some rehab prehab exercises and some mobility issues. And then the second part, I'm going to talk about some of the scap and the importance of the middle back and uh, certain exercises we want to do to keep the shoulder healthy. But for today, first stretch I'm going to show you is called the sleeper stretch. You see a lot of people do it. Uh, I actually like using it with a weight, with a dumbbell. I feel like it helps a little bit. It also forces me to make sure I keep my shoulder on the ground. So when you show up in the weight room, again, you've got to do a pre-warm-up for any kind of sensitive issues that you're having, whether you know your shoulder, maybe you're having some tendonitis issues, um, the mobility issues, some pain, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you're taking care of the shoulder. We've got to make sure that we're doing the little things like the big body on the outside, all these big muscles. If, if the small muscles fall apart, it doesn't matter how strong I am, I'm not going to be able to perform in my sport or perform in the weight room. So first and foremost, we got plenty of external rotation as a baseball player, right? So I'm constantly throwing, i got plenty of that external rotation. I've got to make sure that I have plenty of internal rotation as well. This sleeper stretch is one of them. A lot of people love the stretch, a lot of people don't like the stretch. I've had a lot of benefits from the stretch, so this is why it's a part of my program and part of the programs that kids come to see me. So i got a 10-pound dumbbell. I'm going to lie on my throwing arm side, okay? I'm going to lay here flat, get myself in position, my shoulder stays here on the ground, I'm just going to let this dumbbell kind of pull me forward into that internal rotation. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to hang out and let this pull forward. As you can see, I am very, very tight here. Sit here and hold this for about 30, 30 to 60 seconds. I've had two shoulder surgeries in the past. Doesn't matter how much I work, if I take any time off, from doing these exercises as part of my pre-warm-up, my mobility goes to absolute dog crap. So know this is a big, important part of your training. Get in there before you go with your team warm-up or your strength coach warm-up. Attack these exercises where you're weak at, okay? So this is the sleeper stretch. That's the first one. So I'm going to go straight done. I hold this for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go a little myofascial release. I've got a softball here, okay? It's a, it's a soft softball, or I've got a lacrosse ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this, or lay this on the ground. I'm going to put my shoulder, get that back of my, my shoulder up against this ball, and I'm going to find a trigger point back here. Okay, a lot of us have these problems, have these issues. I get real tight, everything gets real tight in the back, and can affect those areas up in the front of the shoulder. So I'm going to find a trigger point, boom, I got it. So now as a baseball player, I want to make sure that I have good range of motion, good mobility through here. So now I'm going to Externally and internally rotate, leading with the fingers back and forth to kind of get rid of some of these knots. Do this for about 30 reps. Once I get there, I'm going to dig around a little bit more, find another sensitive spot. Make sure I'm breathing. This fascia will not release unless I'm breathing. If I'm holding real tight, my body's tight, I'm really tense, everything is going to stay tense. Make sure you're breathing. Find that sensitive spot. I can get some small rolls back and forth. Reach out, kind of extend, get some movement while I'm getting these trigger points in the back of that shoulder. Nice, good range of motion. I would say about a minute to a minute and a half until you start feeling better. It's going to help out a lot. Okay, so those are the first two exercises. Lacrosse ball, myofascial release, and the sleeper stretch. So now, say I'm real tight, real way back here in the shoulder. Uh, if I can feel it back behind my armpit all the way through here. I need something else. I need something that's stronger. I'm still not getting out. I, I, I'm still having issues when I'm getting these sticking points. So what I'm going to show you here is with the barbell, okay? We're going to hang over the barbell and kind of get some uh, myofascial release with the barbell. I'm going to look for the knurling part. I'm just going to roll back and forth right here on this J-cup, just a couple inches back and forth. I'm going to put my arm up over here, and I'm just going to be rolling to find that sensitive spot. While internally and externally rotating my wrist, and I can already feel all that tightness. Remember, if you got pain when you're doing this and that muscle and all those trigger points, you know you need it. So I'm going to get right here, and I'm going to dig in here real deep. Get some range of motion while I'm going. Feel those uh, tender spots. This has this goes a long way in making sure that I can get that full range of motion and that internal rotation while I'm uh, doing that sleeper stretch. So dig in there real deep, find that sensitive spot. Again, this is not just for overhead athletes, even though overhead athletes need this really bad. A lot of us in the weight room, we get banged up shoulders. We get tense, we want to make sure that we hit and take care of those small parts of our bodies, those ankles, those knees, those elbows, those shoulders. Right there, those are our joints that are very important so we can stay healthy while we're inside that weight room. Last, it's a strength exercise, okay? So we did some mobility work. We did some trigger points, some soft tissue release work, okay? Now, we're going to do a strength exercise, okay? And I always advise doing this in high endurance reps. So step one, I'm going to show you two steps with this. It's a side external rotation. 
I'm going to show you this two ways, okay? And technically, we can go three ways. I'm going to get this, my, my hand up underneath my elbow. Keep my elbow here. It's an external rotation. I do not extend the elbow. I keep here at 90 degrees. I'm going to externally rotate, leading with the back of my hand, okay? I'm right here. I'm going to bang out 30 reps. From there, turn my hand in. I can lead with the pinky. This will be a little bit shorter range of motion, but you'll feel how this hits you different on the shoulder. Externally rotate right here, 30 reps, okay? Third way, I can lead with my thumb out, externally rotate right here, hit the shoulder in a little different spot, 30 reps, okay? You can find which spot you feel a little bit weaker on, and I would attack that. I would do this all three ways, but I would attack that as much as I can as part of your pre warm It takes less than two, three minutes to bang out 90 to 100 reps when you're doing this, okay? Baseball players, I like doing this in a split stance, okay, so we get a little bit of overhead work on external rotation, so I'm going to get that split stance, I'm going to externally rotate, make sure my elbow's not dropping down here, okay, keep that upper, uh, that, that elbow right here, parallel with the shoulder, it's okay to allow that elbow to come a little bit in front of that shoulder, we're just going to externally rotate, return, externally rotate, return, same thing, give me about 10 to 15 reps when we're doing these. This is part of the shoulder pre-warm-up, okay? We're working on some mobility. We're working on some soft tissue release, kind of loosen up all these uh, nook and crannies in the back here in the shoulder and the armpit that kind of mess up a little bit, as well as working on some strength, okay? That's the shoulder. That's part one. I'll show you another shoulder video in the future about the importance of thoracic spine mobility to take care of the shoulder. Laird's training. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Till next time, guys.